All right, guys, so today is going to be all about teenage and training. Uh, I started very young, eight, nine years old, but today we're going to be working with a 17-year-old that's been training for about five years. We are going to get him ready over the next year for teenage nationals in uh, physique. So stay with us. Let's have some fun. Key points to take away from this is injury-free, longevity, and understanding range of motion as a young teenager. All right, boys and girls. Look at this stud. 17. We are doing some shoulders today. Um, how long have you been training now? About four or five years. So 15, 14, um, 13, 12. I started when I was eight, nine. This is what you're gonna do. This is what you're gonna be like if you do start four or five years, you know, 12, 13, 14 years old. And that's what I want. But the, the range of motion is key. Give me this. about that is the more range of motion you get the more muscles you're working the longevity you have he's 17 and the one thing I don't want him to do is start like a lot of bodybuilders do a short range of motion to keep the pump on there guys you're working the muscle you're gonna get the pump and I want to develop this out he's already got the good-looking face he's got the <laughs> structure now we're just gonna just fine-tune this bring these shoulders out and do this that way another year on stage Yep. Yep. 18, maybe 19, do teenage nationals, win the whole thing, then it's just done. Then it's retirement. All right, start out with side laterals. Now we're gonna do some front raises. So a little switch up there was this. When you start power lifting, there's a little kick to everything. Take that kick out of it. You can use it when you need to do a max or a, an extreme heavy lift. But right now we're just kind of training the muscle, so I want more of a flex push out. That's my boy. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Five more. Five more. Get it. Good. Think about it. Think about it. Showtime stage. You guys got to catch up, man. 17 already killing it. Elbows were out last time. Now we're sucked in. We're under. Come on, come on, come on. One more. Ah, give me, give me this. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Feel? Yeah. Talk to him. Talk to him. Tell him how you That's feel. insane. I've been, I've been training the same way for the last four years and never done anything like this. Usually you try to push as much weight as possible, but I'm not using a lot of weight right here and it's killing me. Feels good though. So the great thing he's got is. He's gonna learn so much now. Um, and with social media and, and watching everybody, there's a difference between doing something and going through the motion relevant to actually doing each rep and living it. And so right now, we should do the first set. You can do that all day. So we change it, make it harder on ourselves, which in the long run, yeah. everybody doesn't want to do that. You put that work in. The harder stuff makes you better in the long run. Yep. Let's go again. Last one. Last one. Again, you guys don't need to use heavy weight for this exercise. Hands are underneath. Grab hold. Inside. Inside. Forces the elbows down. This is the way. Perfect. All that pressure pushing out here. Go. Yeah, come on. Come on. Go again. Go again. One more. One more. 
See, the great thing about today is this. Um, anytime I can work with somebody that wants to do this at such a young age and understands that you got to put the work in today instead of waiting, I love that, man. 17 years old, already his mind is focused, been training four or five years, but he's in it. He's doing it. He's already living that dream. He's got the game plan set. You guys can learn so much from that. For you young guys, do not wait. Do not wait. Get into it. Ready? Two more, two more. Feel it. Right down, right down. One more, one more, one more. Rackets now. Woo! We went side laterals to warm up and get a feel for how he moves through the exercise for me. I wanted to see if he works through each rep or just kind of moves through it. Then we went to front raises to pre-fatigue. Now we're doing the shoulder press. Throw them up, let's go. Great range, great power. We're gonna change something just today. Go. Take the elbow forward more. Go. There. Go, 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 go. 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 I know. Again. Again. One more. Boom. Down. Relax. Keep those. All right. So, you move through the exercise great in the power position. Don't just stay with that. We take you right out of that just for a moment. Look how your strength disappeared. Now, he can do 70s and 80s sitting here all day, power, which is great. But unless we work up everything, you're not gonna have that full shoulder on stage. And better to start that younger, you know. So if you guys are just doing the ego lifts, understand the whole concept of what we're doing. Today we're trying to find purposely what's weak. Because if we can start strengthening that up, his strength position is gonna go up even 10 times full. Um, but today, I just want to make sure that we're getting everything, everything set. And also, this is, you guys young, we can't have you guys get injured. You're too young to get injured. So make sure you're working everything. It's crazy, man. Honestly, I'm dead. It's only like two workouts in. <laughs> I've never felt this fatigued ever. Probably one of the best pumps I've had ever for my front delts too. So it's awesome. Definitely switching up the training approach. It's, it kills me, but it's what you need for growth. So I'm hyped. Everything you got. Drive the feet into the ground. Push it. Down. Down. It's not your first time here, is it? Where is it? First time. First, first time, time here. 17. Why didn't you wait? I don't know. Well, it's Saturday. Why aren't you out partying? And why are you <laughs> at the gym? What's up? It's not important. Self-growth is definitely the most important thing across the board, 100%. It's what I love to do. He just said self-growth. You know, I could, I could go to parties right now, get all messed up, but... Like, where's the longevity in it? Where's What's better for me in the long run? And then, also adversity. I don't like being like everyone else, so. <laughs> you know, pretty much just what he said, we can just leave it at that. It's, <laughs> it's great mindset already. Uh, get that early on, and it's fun being different. Yeah, 100%. It really is. 100%. Now, get rid of those 40s, we're going up to 55. Ha <laughs> ha, let's be different. sets, three sets maybe, come here, come here, uh, on side laterals, we really got two sets of front raises, this is basically two warm-ups to get his body used to it, and then we did one set here, so the one thing that might confuse you guys is technically we've only done five sets, <laughs> five real sets, and so when I talk about going to the gym, do the least amount of work possible, but still get better, this is that point. You guys saw warm-ups, body get used to it. All that is irrelevant to the fight set, which what he just did. Ready? Yes, sir. Rack stack. Let's grab 20s again. 
reason why the change up is I want the whole shoulder working out. Go. Take it out in front. No, that's regular. Take it out here. That's my boy. Everything's fire all the way through. Go. Three. Keep going. So this is Saturday. This is the uh, famous Gold's Gym. It is a crazy day, it is a fun day. But the atmosphere is everybody getting their work in and loving it. Even, even Big Scotty, I'm not joking, even Big Scotty worked out today, which rarely happens. I want him to work this way relative to normal, just the isolation. I want the whole shoulder firing him. Everything. Keep going, keep going. Perfect, perfect. Everything's good. Couple more, couple more. One more. One more. Nice deal. Nice. This is fun stuff, right? Show me regular, just regular to the side. This is isolation rear delt. Now show me what we're doing. We're pulling out front. So the reason we're going out front, again, I want to work the whole shoulder. I want to come into the trap. I know you guys want to just work the one little muscle, go. But when you're on stage, they look at everything. So as much as you can, try to isolate the one muscle, but bring in the surrounding muscles. Don't just forget it. Don't just go in and use real, real lightweight to isolate that one little spot. Work the whole thing. Ready? Go. Last set. You gotta give me the 20. Come on. Come on. We came in, we hit it, you did enough. If you guys wanna be in the gym more, understand. Everybody's in the gym. This isn't where the growth takes place. It's about what he's going to eat after, uh, how he's going to rest right now, um, the nutrients throughout the day, and staying on point. How's, how's your nutrition right now? What's going on? It's pretty good. It's summertime, so I'm, I'm being a little easy on myself, but as soon as school starts back up, I'm back on the county macros every single day. So. Okay. Yeah. The one thing I say is that regardless of what time of year it is, uh, what's going on, we're always competing. Because you're not competing against the kids in school. You're competing against everybody. Yes. I know you're 17, but there's 20 year olds that are pushing. And those are who you're going to be competing against. Yep. So start taking that mindset that somebody else is out there that's doing it. Well, you're taking the summer off. They're they're not relaxing. Yeah. Don't you relax? You know why? You want to be the one percent. Exactly. The one percent doesn't doesn't stop their process. So we take time off in the sense of recover, relax, and all that stuff, but keep doing the work, keep doing the work. So the nutrition is, the only reason I was 275 from high school is because of the nutrition. Because we all worked out. Yeah. But the one thing I did differently is I never took the time off the, tra the eating. It's like breathing, we don't stop. Right. All right? Yeah. So next time I see you, we do this. I say, right now, mama, come here. I say, once every month, I want you to come out on a weekend and train with me when I'm in town. All right? Yeah. And I want that nutrition to be on point from here on in. I'm holding you to that. Deal? Yes, Deal. Deal? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You guys follow because this is going to be the transformation right here. Yeah. Showtime. Hell yeah. Thank you. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right. I don't know who this guy is right there, but uh, this is the scoop. This is what it's about, guys. And you heard me talk about this at the very end, about the nutrition portion of this. Trust me, you go to a gym, everybody works out. The difference is the nutrition. So take points on that. We're gonna be talking more about that on the next video. Follow me on YouTube. Thanks, guys. Give a thumbs up. Also, let me know what you guys wanna see here. And if you're not on my free email, make sure to go over to mikeohern.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, and enter your email, and now you got 
my free email coming to you. I'm slipping up all day. But you guys love it. Have fun. I'm out.